Hi, hello, folks. It's Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, your old buddy, Rue, your old pal. And uh, first, I want to give thanks to uh, John Storms, who had put out a video that I'm going to uh, share uh, and how I'm using this very tool that he uh, brought up. I think he learned it from the Zoom Room, if I'm not mistaken. And it is super cool. So I guess first, maybe I should just share the tool with you. Uh, this is the site. You can just type in moises.ai. Uh, you'll get there. Uh, if we go back, not there. If we go back to the site. Seriously, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um... You'll see here that I have a song, There's No Place Like Home for the Holidays. I basically uh, brought this in. You can click on library if you like, and you can upload uh, a song of your choice. You can see here i got a couple. I've got a, the Book of Boba Fett that I'm working on, Mandalorian version. Uh, There's No Place Like Home for the Holidays I'm working on, and this is just the demo. So, cat's out of the bag. And what's unique about this is that this does a track separation. And what you end up with is a series of MP3 files that you can bring into XLice to create your timings. Now, XLice does not allow you to have more than one timing or one music uh, track at a time. But you can switch these out, do your work, and then put the main track back in real easy peasy like. What's super cool about this is that it will separate based on what you tell it. Uh, it could do vocals, drums, bass, strings, others. Uh, there are several different choices you could choose from with this one. Because there are strings in it, I chose that. There are some vocals, drums, bass, and then others sort of like what's left over. And what's neat about this is I'm going to show you this. Uh, each one of these can be very instrumental. See, see, pun, pun intended, instrumental. Get it? If I have to explain the jokes to you folks, it's just not as funny. But they can be really useful and clever. And so I spent the last couple of days really digging in, playing with timings on this to see what I could come up with. And I'm going to share with you what that looks like so far. So here's the main sequence right here with the music. And I'll just play just a little bit of this. Let me make sure I've got my audio very... Yeah, it's on quiet. That's quiet enough. And here we go. Yeah, sounds familiar, right? Mm-hmm. But that's the whole thing. What I can do is go to my sequence settings and tell this that I want to change that, that I want to use these uh, individual MP3s one at a time so I can look at the bass and bring that in. And click done. There we go, when you're ready. Okay, and here's the bass. So if I just choose the bass, now it does not put in timing marks for you. It does not do that. So don't think that you're going to get off scot-free. What it's going to give you is this. And I think that's pretty cool. So what did I do to get these timings in here for the bass section? Well, I went in here and I added a timing track and I told it to use note onsets. And that just gave me way too much information. So I ended up just hand tapping these out myself. One of the things I would caution you with, when you're gonna put timing tracks in for the main sequence, the main music, you're going to have to try a choice between beats and tempo and beat tracker beats. With songs that might ebb and flow, you may find that this does a better job. 
if it's just a solid four on the floor, 120 beat per minute, you might find this does a better job. In this case, this did a better job right now. And that's what I ended up using. I had used the other one and I didn't like the way it was lighting up as it went down. It was starting to uh, sort of go off and not be correct. So that's why you see Beats 2. I just didn't change the name. All right. So I created these timings. And sometimes you got to go in here and really watch what you're doing and then line these up with Beats 2. Because typically music, music like this that's orchestral can be on the beat, ahead of the beat, or behind the beat. And you have to make a decision with lighting. I would recommend you try to put it at least on, if not slightly, in front. Now, doing that consistently throughout is really not easy. So you want to play things back with some effects and see how it looks with the music. Also, uh, it's probably going to be a good idea to go down here, look at one quarter speed, and listen like this. Yeah, believe it or not, sometimes that's what you have to do, okay? So let's look at another one. Let's go over here and look at our sequence settings and let's change this out for drums. And you gotta give it a moment there, drums. And the drums were interesting. I spent a lot of time, the most time uh, was on the drums. It just, <laughs> it just was. And if we listen here. And you can see this line here, this the second one here. This is all the drums. It's It was sort of painstaking. If we watch, I think I have an effect over here and this is one of the ways I'll test. And it probably helps if I have this set to drums and not bass. Here we go, one more time. I have some hi-hats in there too, so you'll see some of these little judders, and that's from the hi-hat. Pretty cool stuff, right? Uh, and then we have some vocals too, and I thought this was kind of neat. I'm pretty good at isolating and separating a lot of the musical instruments. Uh, but this just does a better job than my ears can do. And so if we look at this right in here, you'll see this section here. Let me just choose the vocals. Cool, right? And we'll do one last one. And this is... Uh, this one was a tougher one because this would be all the strings. And I sort of just let note onsets do its thing with the strings um, because there's just so much going on. <laughs> And it's not going to be anything I'm interested in doing to isolate a ton of this in here, but if, if that's what it called for, because you can see this da 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 da, it's not catching this. I'd better off. I'd be better off using the beats and segmenting this if I wanted those da 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 da. It's just X lights with this particular. Uh, note on sets really can't dial this in and I've tried every setting under the Sun to try to uh, get it to do a better job it's just not going to maybe later down the road they'll find some better tools to do some of this work and create this uh, you never know uh, maybe one day we'll see a multi-track in here that we can turn on and off to isolate all this 
Uh, you know, you can go in here and tell it to listen just to the the bass waveform, but uh, it sounds like caca. Nah, just doesn't sound good. A better tool would be the Moise. And so that's pretty much it. I spent most of yesterday uh, getting all of these in here. Um, I'll do another video in a moment and I'll talk about Sketch and one of the ways that I want to play around with it. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thanks so much. See ya.